Welcome folks, I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium. I'm a Taino Arawak and I use a combination of channeling from Spirits in the Light exclusively as well as planetary movements and what the planetary shifts are telling me and my psychic ability to bring you your weekly horoscopes. So you want to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and these horoscopes are for Monday, October 26th to Monday, November 2nd. Have a great week, everybody. Pisces, very powerful uh, horoscope for you this week. So Pisces, what is going on with you this week? Monday the 26th, Tuesday the 27th, into Wednesday the 28th, mutual theme on all three of these days, having to do with you keeping your nose to the grind in your education, your training, your work, whatever it is that you do to um, receive some kind of a resource and make sure that you are paying attention to detail in those areas, especially um, with career, because on Monday the 26th, you have an opportunity to learn a lot. Eyes and ears open. Now, on Monday the 26th, you also have a boss's eyes on you. This could be a parent. This could be someone in a position of authority. This could be a professor. It could literally be anybody who would be considered symbolically a boss. But they are watching you, and I do feel that they're watching you in such a sort of a critical way where it's a debate on what will come next for you. It's a debate on whether or not you're going to be promoted, demoted, stay where you are, things like this. Tuesday the 27th into Wednesday the 28th and Thursday the 29th, there's talk of your family dynamics changing. And by family, we're not just talking genetic. We're also talking about your tribe or whatever community you're in, whatever it is that you consider a family. But the family dynamics changing in such a way where you need to be asking yourself if you want to be a leader in that group or you want to be a follower. I am strongly under the impression that leader is the right answer. Tuesday the 27th into Wednesday the 28th, we have mutual theme on both of these days, especially in the later afternoon going into the evening hour, uh, starting on Tuesday. And this has to do with you needing to think, Spirit wrote it all in caps, think before you act or accept what is being offered to you. There is also talk of you getting new shoes. And I saw on Tuesday the 27th, you dancing. So we can say that you're getting dancing shoes, which is a sign of celebration, promotion, uh, some type of a breakthrough. But on Wednesday the 28th, they look more like new shoes for your new journey, new shoes that you could work in, new shoes that are going to support you as you go forward. Thursday the 29th, there's talk of the you being in a love partnership, a romantic uh, engagement here that feels very passionate, I would wonder if it is due to a karmic contract, which has cords, or a soulmate connection, which also has cords. There is definitely something going on here that is creating that level of passion. But I also think that it's important to remember that passion isn't all you need, okay? So let's not go so far head over heels that we forget about the other things that we need. Uh, but there's definitely some fire going on there. Friday the 30th, Saturday the 31st into Sunday the 1st of November. Happy November, everybody. We have general theme in all three of these days having to do with home life or residency improvements and you looking and seeking more. So it's very possible that you're looking at where else you might want to relocate to or what changes you want to see in your home life and thinking of your home, your residency as being your haven, your sacred space and being willing to put in the hard work to create and have a goal, a long-term outline on what you want to have for yourself, understand that you're deserving of it and even though it is going to be hard work and it may take a little bit, you're going to start focusing on that. Saturday the 31st into Sunday, November 1st, we have talk of health. Now, this is not just your own health, and I cannot prescribe a diagnose, but this is also the health of those in your inner circle. Great time to do wellness checks. We are talking about heart health in particular, and that can also represent love, uh, mental and emotional well-being. There's talk of you needing to heal also on those days and have fun with others. So it's have fun with your tribe, you know, laugh, dance, enjoy, do, do something inspirational or silly. And I feel you, um, you know, benefiting from that and also helping other members of your tribe who need it just as much. Monday the 2nd, there's talk of you needing to speak your truth and then hold your ground. And they said, keep your eyes steady on where you're headed. Tune everything and everyone else out. Pisces, have a beautiful week.